Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi scholars, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Number Talks. Hey, today we're working with Ms. Foster's first grade class. She's a good friend of mine. In Ms. Foster's first grade class, five children were sharing 25 cupcakes. How many cupcakes should each child get so that it's fair? Hmm. What do you think? How can we do this? We can draw a picture, we can do so many different things. Let's, let's try um, kind of branching out. Let's see what we can do with that or factoring. Okay friends, we know that Ms. Foster has 25 cupcakes and she wants to distribute them amongst five children. But how many cupcakes do each of the children get? Hmm. Well, we know there's five children and there's 25 cupcakes. So let's say 25 minus 5, because that's one cupcake per child right here. So that equals 20. Huh. We still have more cupcakes to give out. So 20 minus 5 equals 15. See what we're doing? So they have one cupcake each, two cupcakes each, so 15 minus 5, and that equals 10. So we have one cupcake, two cupcakes each, three cupcakes each. Can you guess how many cupcakes now that they're going to have? Let's keep going. So 10, I'm going to say minus 5. And that equals 5. Huh. We had 4, or 3 up here. This is 4. 5 minus 5 equals 0. There's no more cupcakes to give out. Let's count. Each child, remember we said 5. 25 minus 5, so that's that. That's one cupcake each. 20 minus 5, there's two cupcakes each. 15 minus 5 is three cupcakes each. 10 minus 5 is four cupcakes each. And 5 minus 5 is five cupcake each. Since the number is zero, each child gets five cupcakes each. That's a lot of cupcakes. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. And that to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Coming up next is Adam and his sister Kit. And they're going to help us find out who is correct or not. Is it Adam or is it Kit? Hmm. Let's see.